Hi there guys, you're about to watch our video uh, with a test drive and everything on this motorhome. Um, we've just played it back and Jack was sat here filming it and we noticed all you can hear in the video is the rattle, grill. Rattle, rattle. And it's just because we hadn't stirred away the grill. So inside here, all you can hear is that so all you can hear is that rattling about in there. So just put it back on at me, Jack. So just <laughs> Just bear that in mind while you watch the video. It sounds absolutely terrible. From where I was sat, it didn't sound bad. But from, from here, it sounded terrible. One last thing as well, we didn't show you a couple of little things that we missed on the video. So I'll quickly show you those now. If Jack just wants to pass me the thing back. Right, okay, firstly, microwave is up here. We didn't show that. Um, sink is here, that unfolds. That clips back up into there. Um, so we've got the sink there. And what we didn't show you as well is we have a pull-out table there, uh, just wedged in at the moment. But that, that unit there is a table that comes out and that, that, that goes with it as well. Um, so, so that is it really. Um, so thank you to my cameraman Jack uh, <laughs> and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to GMC 2000. Uh, we're going to do a video today of this motorhome. It's been our own personal motorhome for the last two and a half years. Um, circumstances have changed, so it's time to go, move on to a new owner uh, for new adventures. We're going to show you under the bonnet, we're going to show you this thing driving, we're going to show you the underneath, we're going to show you the interior. Um, so, we'll get started now. Uh, my cameraman today is Jack, my 11 year old son, and he's going to do his absolute best for us. We're going to take it up through the estate, show you how it handles. We're also going to take it up on the ring road, get it up to a little bit of speed, and just show you just how good to drive this thing is. Right, so. We'll, uh, we'll start under the bonnet. Um, if Jack wants to move forward, I'll just go and uh, pull the bonnet. Um, can I just stay around about here, Jack? Okay. So, obviously this is the engine bay and these, these five cylinder um, diesel engines are absolute um, superb, the you know absolute fuel injection engineering at the best. I mean they are designed um, to pull weight, and that's exactly what these will do. Um, this is absolutely clap cold. Uh, I'll put my hand down there just to show you. It's not been started this morning. Um, we're going to fire it up now, and you can see obviously it doesn't smoke or anything like that. Just give us a second. So you stay there, Jack. Okay. I'm just going to borrow the camera off Jack for a minute and just show you. There's no smoke or anything drifting out from underneath. Oh, the exhaust is sort of halfway underneath there. It doesn't smoke even when you're, act when you're accelerating. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to get, I was going to see the engine running, we'll switch that off for a moment. Um, and we're going to go around, show you everything inside, then Love Jack's going to take mind. back over. And, uh, and we're going to uh, we're going to take it out for a drive. So obviously this is the interior. The interior is just absolutely unmarked. It's unworn. Uh, all the dash is really really good. It is an automatic. We'll show you how all that works. Um, and uh, and it is a nice thing to drive. Um, all the headlining, everything like that, is absolutely superb. Um, all around these door jams, again, no rust, no. No accident damage, no nothing no, like that. Um, nice door steps around the doors. Again, you know the door cards and everything are all superb condition. Again, down the bottoms of the doors, all really nice. Now, again, if I just take have a look down from the bottom here, you can see what the sills are like. The underneath of the wheel arches, the tyres have all really good tread on them. Um, and looking up at the bodywork from the bottom, you, know, you can see just how clean and tidy this is. Um, it is a really nice motorhome. I mean, we bought it from a really nice uh, family in Cambridge who, um, like us, were car dealers. Um, really nice people. I think it's sometimes you get, get a bit of good energy about a car. So we'll show you underneath. Obviously, these little drops here are just rainwater, but 
Again, you can see underneath the engine, there's no, it's never been, it's not been cleaned, it's not been steam cleaned. It's all dry as a bone. Um, all the suspension is all good. Oh. I'll, uh, no, I'll uh, just go underneath here and show you the floors. So, all the floors are all really, really good. Um, water tanks, fuel tanks, everything, everything is bone dry underneath here. You can see, um, you know, no gearbox oil leaks. Again, you can see the rear axle there, no leaks. Springs are great, shockers are good. Um, you know, it's all very, very clean and original underneath here. We'll just get under the back, one sec. <laughs> Getting too old for this. <laughs> so again, you know, all the floor is nice, original, nice and dry. Inside there, there's a brand new, unused spare never been on it um, you know again back of the axle there uh, all nice and dry most importantly I'll show you where the bathroom is because if you're gonna get any leaking it's usually around about there so that's the bathroom in there that's the cassette for the um, Elsam and let me underneath there again oops if I can take my finger off of it you can see everything is nice and bone dry there. Again, you know, that's the wastewater tank. Um, you know, again, everything's really nice underneath here. Again, you look up at the bodywork, it's very, very good. It isn't all stone chipped and bashed about. Obviously, a vehicle this age will have a few um, little scratches and chips and such like, but generally you know when you look down the side of the panels it's very 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 straight you know the wings very very clean very very nice underneath the bonnet is all very very good again this wing here you know looking down the side of it at the reflection you know very very nice there are obviously a couple of little chips a couple of little dings here and there which you expect with a vehicle of this age so i'm going to pass the camera back to Jack. Okay. Right Jack, let's go inside. Let's have a quick look inside. So, obviously we've got a, uh, a U-shaped lounge, um, which is nice and comfortable. This uh, goes out into a little table here. That goes back into there. Um, this window, I broke the inner pane on that, but that will be getting replaced as part of the sale. I did that year before last. Um, all these have uh, fly screens and blinds on them right and um, this obviously this pulls out converts into a good double bed uh, it's a good size or you can take the cushions down use this as two singles um, again I'll just pinch the pinch you back off of Jack a moment and I'll just show you the condition of some of the things because if you looked around motorhomes before you tend to find that all this bit here tends to really get scratched and marked and it is in excellent condition um, one of the things I want to highlight as well is the corners of the roof which you know if ever you get them with any damp or anything like that I mean it really is outstanding you know on the on the ceiling uh, again up into that corner there um, you know no warping no no damp everything is nice and straight all these cupboards all open and close nicely you know they're all nice and clean inside thank you Jack that's just demonstrating. Okay, that will do. I think they've got the covers work. <laughs> um, so they they are all nice. Um, again, skylight up there that has a fly screen and a blind on it. Mm -hmm. um, we have again around back round here. Again, you find a lot of scuffing and marking on these corners and edges. Again, it's very. It's had a very very easy life as this vehicle. Um, this item here pulls out and makes a partition divider which goes right across um, obviously we've taken a photograph of that um, this is the the toilet um, obviously um, running water the um, the toilet is an L sand also has a has a little, own little flush it has an extra large um, cassette as well so you know you're not having to empty it every two minutes um, cupboards does have a shower 
for what use it would be really I've never used it <laughs> everywhere we've gone they've got really good shower facilities so but, uh, but it all does work um, so if we can just shut that back up um, <clears throat> again you know when you get around to the corners of the seats and the edges of the seats here these are two traveling seats so these have got inertia real seat belts on them um, again up in the corners all nice again these cupboards they all work fine um, the headlining um, is all good um, you know there's no sagging it's absolutely crisp and straight you know really really good condition again that cupboard all is all good um, this heating system works an absolute treat um, you can put it on central heating where it will come out of uh, various little vents like this um, around the motorhome just put it onto the setting you want it and you can absolutely leave it on we we we've used this now for the last two and a half years and we we go down south um and uh, and we yeah to call and uh, we obviously it's quite cold in the spring and uh, put that on at night just put it on a low setting it's absolutely superb um it's got fairly new um oh what they're called <laughs> no <laughs> Wait, no, that's not bad. No, um, panels up on the roof. There we go. Well, you were looking at yeah. that. So. It's, yeah, it's got the, um, oh, what are they called, Jack? <laughs> solar panels. It's got all solar panels up on there the roof. Big go. ones. Um, oh, and all that. All the controls are all in here for that. And they're all brand new. Um, we've also got, under the seats, um, we have brand new, two brand new leisure batteries. I put them on in the spring of this year. And under the cab, we have a brand new Exide uh, battery, um, which is uh, which is very very nice. Uh, you know, they're very very good batteries. Um, this obviously, the there is a uh, electric ring, um, three gas rings. Um, just press the ignition jack. Where is it? That one there, there is. I was trying to find it. So all that works fine. Everything obviously, but this is going to get a full habitation report anyway. Uh, the last the last motorhome we sold we did uh, we did one on it and obviously they checked that everything is safe everything works right um all the systems are electrically and carbon monoxide gas safe uh, obviously we've got fridge freezer there that's uh, that's all nice inside um little freezer there again nice all works fine um obviously all the drawers and everything are all good um, it comes with all the manuals, uh, a little miniature um, ironing, board. ironing board. Yep. Uh, this bed, this one up here, stretches out. This this pulls out this way and makes it into a double bed up on top of the cab. These two mattresses were had the previous owner had those made. Um, rather than using the cushions on the U-shaped lounge, you just slot that in, and they are really really comfortable. Obviously, the step ladders up on top for the over cab double bed. This one here converts into a small double bed as well. Um, and uh, yep, so, and this is obviously the cab. So, um, what we're going to do, so excuse me, it's a steam train just going past. <laughs> you can hear that in the background. Incidentally, I'll quickly just show you up here as well. You know, all this is in really nice condition. Mm. You know, so, um, anyway, I'm going to hand it back over to Jack now. And, um, and we're going to uh, close the bonnet down. What I'm going to do is we're going to reverse it out of the driveway. This is a very tight driveway. Yeah. Um, we only brought it home just to do the video because I thought it was a bit quieter here when the steam trains out going past. Uh, we live on quite a tight, steep uh, cul-de-sac, so we're going to reverse it. Uh, we're going to reverse it out of here. Show you how well it handles, how easy it is to handle. We're going to take it through the estate, show you how that auto auto box goes through the gears and how easy it is to drive and then we're going to get it up onto the ring road get it up to a bit of speed and uh, and show you again just just how well this thing goes like i say this thing pulls like a steam train my previous one uh before this was a 2.8 peugeot engined fiat ducato and that absolutely ran out of steam it, on the motorway it was so stressful to drive you know um the slightest gradient and it would start to lose its speed this thing doesn't when all the other motorhomes are, uh, you know, you can see them sort of revving, revving the, themselves to death and 
carbon coming out of the exhaust. This thing just glides past them like it's like it like the stood still. So it's a really really nice thing to drive. But anyway, we're going to get on now. I'm going to shut down the bonnet. Shut down this. Um, so Jack, if uh, if you just pass me that here, one second. Right, you put your seatbelt on, buddy. While I just go around and uh, and shut. I'll pass you the thing back. So we've got a fly screen there. We we'll shut that. Undo that. So let's have a let's have a look here. So. Drop the bonnet down. Climb aboard. Pass the uh, pass it to Jack. What was it? Okay. Need to do my belt. Ah, oh, come on. So slow with belts. Why? Come on, get that fastened it. That's there it. we go. Right. Okay. Right. So. Whoa, need up front. Okay. Right. Let's take it out for a spin. Like I said, this is a tight driveway, as you'll see, possibly when as we come out of it. Lots of cars on the in the cul de sac. But it is a, a very, very easy, very manoeuvrable um, truck to, to run. So neutral is forward it back into reverse there and brake off it has a delayed reaction on the brake so when you let go of the brake you press the accelerator and it takes up the drive without rolling forward or backwards if you're on a hill right let's take it for a run now I say this is very steep very very tight pull the second So, back into neutral, stick it cross into up, automatic, let go of the brake, and away it goes.
So again, even if you're stood on a hill, you don't you don't necessarily have to put the handbrake on. You can just put your foot on the brake. When you let go, it doesn't roll because it, it holds it until it, the clutch takes up the drive. Because it actually works like a, a clutchless manual. So you get the same economy that you would do with a manual um, uh, gearbox car, um, but obviously it changes automatically. Now I've turned off this section here, so I'm going to have to move across. Somebody lets me across. If the mini moves across, come on, mini. So those sort of ones that go up and down like truck seats, so they are really comfortable on a long run. So is the passenger one. They have uh, obviously four armrests because they can't uh, captain seats. So we'll take you around here. So handbrake on into neutral, switch it off. If you want to hang on there, Jack, I'll come oh, round and open oh, the door. Oh. It's all right. It's okay. I'll come and open the door. Hello. Right. So, um, in this in this unit here. We have the um, we have the awning in there at the moment. Okay. Okay. Watch what you're filming. Watch what you're filming. So underneath here, there are the new, brand new batteries. I don't know if Jack can just film those. But they're the, the biggest capacity ones we could buy. They're brand new and they're in pairs. One of them mm -hmm. had gone down a little bit. One of the old ones. Um, there is also the handle for the um, for the sun canopy so basically just lock that back up you can wind this sun canopy this fiamma sun canopy out and just have it just as, just with just like a roof and no sides and it has legs that come down then obviously you can zip around the awning if you want that on mm. so that's that we have um hang on a second we have an external three pin socket there um that's for the uh, aerial. Um, just take it slowly, Jack, or people are going to get seasick. Okay. We also have, just let me move this. So we have um, barbecue gas outlet there. Okay. Let me just put that back. Um, again, just film around the, around the truck as we go around it, Jack. Oh, Jack, just to show, yeah. show them these bits up here these always tend to get damaged up here uh, and they're in excellent condition um, again all the, all this bit here mirrors haven't ever been damaged um, corners of the bumpers are all really good again this side up here um, let me just film that Jack yep got it Zoom very in. very good the front underneath here is all nice um, again with the Sun on this side you can see just how clean the bodywork is. I don't know whether you want to come out from a distance, Jack, and just show show the ladies and gents just how good it is on, on the paintwork. What we'll do is we'll just show you as well the gas bottles. There are, it comes 
the two gas bottles. So I'll sort oh, okay. off. So those are the two gas bottles there. So when you run out, obviously you don't have to go and run up to the camping gas shop and change it. You know, you can just swap it over. Right, pull back, Jack. That's it, you show that. So we'll lock that back up. Uh, obviously that's the outlet for the uh, heater. We have here the cassette for the Alsan. We can put all your fluids and everything in there. Um, just pull it back a bit, Jack, so we can see. It's a nice, nice large one. It's all Massive. nice and clean and dry in there. That's very, very easy to operate. That all locks up as well. Water tank, fresh water tank fills up from there. Um, Hookup goes in there. Um, that ha there is a pump if you want to connect that up and then run. If, if uh, just hold it back, if you, if you have like a, a barrel or something here, you can. There is a pump that in, in here that you can connect into there for an external water source. Again, inside here. Um, it comes with four fold-up chairs. Again, it's all nice and dry inside there. Um, just do it slowly, Jack, do it slowly. Then underneath here, there is obviously the pumps and such like, tent pegs, um, aerial lead and everything. Right, just come out of there now, love it. We'll just shut that back up, we'll just take it back slowly. Right, so shut that back up, lock it up. Then if we come round the back, Jack. Hey. We just want to show the ladies and gents up here. There's no damage on the corners. Mm. All these edges here, if you could just show them, Jack. I've got to zoom are in, all, so. No, you don't need to zoom it in, love it. Okay. Are all nice and straight. These corners here are all nice and undamaged. You know, nice and solid. Um, we've got a good, solid tow bar there. Um, inside here, we put the the lead so that's your hookup lead that obviously comes with it we've also got a, a an adapter where you can plug it in and run run it on your household three pin plug um, just to check everything before you go or get the freezer nice and cold and then inside here yeah, we'll just undo that here. I don't know this one's here. we have oh, and oh, the yeah. unused oh. spare wheel if you can just film that jack Again, the floor underneath there is all nice and bone dry. Um, you know, chassis is still original paint on it. Um, so, you know, lock that back up. Last thing we'll film, Jack, if, I don't know whether the sun will stop you, but if you can just show these corners, I mean, like I say with motorhomes, these edges here, just take it slow, enough, are usually. You know, get ragged about, you know, and if people hit the back end, it always bends it. But again, it's all very, very nice. So, uh, so that's it. So, that's it, guys. I mean, if just have a look down the side, Jack, here, show them the glass and everything. How good it all looks. So, that's it, guys. Just needs a new owner now, but thanks for watching. That's it. Thank you.